Hello, Billow Dweller. Tonight's story stars the tooth you hid beneath your mattress. It sprouted friends. <laughs> I hope you're into weird, creepy animations. We're inspired by Tim Burton. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can go from a white board sketch like these right here, weirdo. And then we used AI to create the dopest animation videos. Talk about creepy. Let me show you the next one. I test each flavor on the Ellie Cats. This one made them circle clockwise and nap in the rain. So if you're not into weird animations, if you don't like Tim Burton or a um, couple of the crazy cartoons out there, maybe you could switch off for now. But for those of you that do want to learn how to do this, I'm going to show you how to make these videos using Abacus AI today and all of the tools that they have included. Go from napkin drawing or whiteboard drawing that you kids can do or you can do it. You could just envision the characters. You can create them. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. And the end result being something super high quality like this. And now we have about 40 videos that we're going to post on a faceless channel and then generate a lot of views and hopefully turn this into something bigger. The point of it is to show you the power of AI tools and not only using VO3, which is super expensive. You could do this with Abacus AI. All the links are below. You guys could try it out. I mean, there are AI videos with, when I say millions, now it's hundreds of millions of views that they're getting for all of the different trends but I like to be the trend starter instead of the trend follower. That's the big difference. So do I want to make gorilla videos? No, it doesn't interest me. Do I want to make baby talking videos? No, it doesn't interest to me. But if you scroll through here, find me a monster. You won't. And that's why we came up with this idea. So we're going to run with it and hopefully we create a trend and then our videos are going to pop off and go crazy. And that's what we're trying to do here. So we are starting the monsters trend who could get the creepiest and have fun with it. My design partner, Mike, had this crazy idea. He started sketching on these little drawings right here. Look at some of these drawings. They're super creepy. This is all inspired by Tim Burton. And also, if you guys are familiar, it's uh, Rick and Morty, the whole interdimensional cable. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna turn these guys into first, these amazing images. So here are the actual renderings, step by step. Then we're gonna take it up a notch and then we're gonna create audio. Uh, hovering, little hush, my eyes up. Hi, I'm seven foot of passion, stuffed in a British phone booth. So now what we're gonna do is since we have the sound, the imagery, we're gonna then put it all into chat LLM and all of their video generation tools that's actually built into it. So you guys could take a look below. I have Abacus in there. And if you guys do try it, you can buy me a cup of coffee. I'm always super grateful. So first thing is the way Abacus works is you have access to 25 large language models for everything you want. You could, you got chat for one, Sonnet for coding, Opus, Gemini, DeepSeek, Grok. So this is one of the powerful things about Abacus, but also you have all of the different functions. So look at this, you got doc review, video generation, lip sync, text to speech, speech to speech, speech to text, task humanize editor video analysis. I've done tons of videos on this. Definitely my favorite tool because it's an all in one, everything you would want. But today we're going to be doing a couple things. So first thing we're going to do is image generation. So let's switch over to ChatGPT 4.1 and say this, let's take one of our creepy drawings. Let's go with, uh, let's go with this lady. I think this lady is super dope. Okay. So the prompt for the image is this one, transform this drawing into a fantastical, highly detailed 3D character inspired by Tim Burton with whimsical, imaginative features, playful proportions, and a magical story bull like background. And check this out. I mean, that is just absolutely stunning. Look at that image, gorgeous. All right, so we're gonna save this image. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna create a script. So we're just gonna come down here because now it knows the context, I'm gonna say this. Write me a 20 second script for this character talking about the magic of this castle and the weirdness of the planet and trying to lure you in to come so you could taste her magic potion. I want you to be super weird and film-like style writing. 
So step closer, darling. This castle hums with secrets and this planet. Oh, it wiggles beneath your feet. Sip my potion, taste the oddness. Let the magic nibble at your soul. There it is. There's our script, just like that. And again, we can reiterate, we can try different things. You can write a one minute script if you want, chop it up into five seconds at a time. But for the point of this, I wanna just do this and show you what the actual steps are. So now we have our image, now we have our script. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna go in to chat LLM and we wanna actually use their built-in video generation. The way you get to it, you click on Abacus. On the right side here, we're going to click on lip sync. You can also do video gen. So for example, you want to use Kling, you want to use Seed Dance. They have all of the newest models. This is one powerful thing that Abacus does is it gives you access to Kling, Luma, Runway, VO3 even. Obviously, you're going to need more credits for those, but that's one thing, video generation. Now, they also added a feature called lip sync. And lip sync uses a tool called Hedra. And what's nice about Hedra is it combines all of the elements together. So if you have your image and you have your audio file, then it will limp sync your audio to your video. So this is kind of what we want to do versus creating a separate file, creating a video. It's not going to be lip synced and then combining the two together. So this is like an alternative to VO3, which does lip sync, but it costs $6 per video. This is going to cost you probably, I don't know, 50 cents. I'm, I'm imagining. I can't imagine it's costing more than that. So here's how, how to do it. So we're going to go in Hedra, we're going to select the voice, let's do Coral, for example. We're going to give it the script that we just created, so let's go back to Chat LLM. Here's another one that I just created, check this out. And my tongue shed membranes like wet wallpaper. Doc, my guts are gone. <laughs> it's too much, this is going to be hilarious. Alright, so let's check it out, so let's go back to Chat LLM. So here's our script, so now we're going to take the script, we're going to go back paste that in here. So this is our script. Then it says voice instructions. So what we want to do is we want to say, go back to chat LLM and say, also give me a prompt for the voice instructions for this character, period. So the audio is that works well with the image. So we're just going to ask it for a great, so use a whimsical, slightly raspier and mischievous tone. Think Helen Bonner Connor in Tim's Burton film. Perfect. And again, I'm just rapid firing through this. When you're doing your own, you want to obviously take a little more time on all of these prompts. And like I said, you can upload the audio file. So I'm going to show you how we're going to actually make one of ours using all of our pre-made uh, videos, audios, and images. But first, I want to show you how to create it from scratch. So now we have our description. So we're now we're going to upload the image that we downloaded, which is here she is. Tim Burton style. It looks amazing, actually. I'm actually really impressed by what it did. Okay, then we're going to go aspect ratio. Let's go 9 by 16. And now we have our description, which we don't need. And I think we just hit generate. And that's it. And now this is actually going to go in. It's going to use Hedra. And it's going to create a lip synced video that's going to be complete with everything. And the only thing left is then open up CapCut or even just go right into TikTok and then post it with some kind of subtitles if you guys want. The last piece I'm gonna show you with ours is how to actually create your own custom voices using Eleven Labs so you have a custom voice to include inside your video. So a lot of people are making a ton of money doing these faceless channels, but a lot of them are kind of boring. I feel like there's no creativity, there's no edge to them. So that's why me and Mike talked about creating monsters. Let's do something that's gonna be a little more creative, like thinking of the people that we like and the films we like, especially Tim Burton, is let's get a little weird, as we like to say. First video is done. Step closer, darling. This castle hums with secrets, and this planet, ooh, it wriggles beneath your feet. Sip my potion. Taste the oddness. Let the magic nibble at your soul. Wow. Oh, that's so freaking good. It's amazing. That's a couple minutes. Imagine you took an hour to put together and craft these amazing prompts to just get this really, really cooking. You know, birds flying in the background, a fire burning, whatever you want. But that's the power of what you can actually accomplish now. And again, not using the most expensive tools out there and having an all-in-one because we didn't have to pay for anything besides just the integration of Hedra inside of Abacus AI. 
So that's the power. Okay, so now you've seen how it's done without the custom audio. But next, what I wanna do is I want to actually create one with our image. So let's go lip sync. So now we're gonna go in and I'm gonna show you, we're gonna select the audio files. Since we have all of our audio files already done, so let's go hello me. So that's our audio file. Then we're gonna go in and create or select. Let's see, where is Halloumi? So that's Halloumi. Ooh, that's so creepy. <laughs> All right, let's go six, uh, nine by 16, so TikTok size. We got our description, which we don't need. And then we already have our audio, so we don't have to do anything else. All we're doing is audio and the clip and hit generate. And just like that, you don't have to put any more prompts because we've created the file and you already have your image. And now we're gonna get our lip sync monster. Our monster is finished. Let's take a look at how creepy this is. All right. I'm a walking mezzy platter. Pull a tentacle, dip in honey. I scream compliments as you chew, but avoid eye contact. I'm shy and my eyes pop out when startled. They're tasty and full of juices. <laughs> so good. Okay. So if this is too weird for you, then this might not be the channel for you, but we definitely get weird around here. I just love the creativity um, and animations. You know, this really kind of opens up the door to the creative spirit, creating monsters like this or anything else you want. So now since you have them, the only thing left to do is obviously schedule these out on your social media. And if you want, I can show you really quick. If you have CapCut, I could show you how to really quickly create some really nice subtitles in CapCut while we're here. So all we gotta do is select one of our monsters. This time we're gonna go with our purse lady. And then you just click on it. Up here you hit captions, hit generate. It's gonna create the caption. And then we just have to select the style. This is really important. So if you're doing a lot of stuff that you're posting and it feels a little boring, you gotta give it a little more pizzazz on the subtitles. And the way you do that is you click on the actual subtitle itself. And then right here, you're gonna hit text and you're gonna hit templates. And this is where you get the gold. So for example, see that? It switches the style and then you can put this like anywhere you want. So let's see what this one looks like. Let me make this a little bigger for you. So you can see how nice this. Almost midnight sugar, floors need love, guts, tip jars the titty. Drop a bill down his fuzzy throat, he burps gratitude in secrets and mildew. And there you go. And then you just hit export and now you have a subtitle that's really custom and you find the one that works for you and then you save it and then you're good to go. That kind of wraps up what I was trying to accomplish here. And the next thing you just have to do is post these. So post this on your social media. If you guys want to use some kind of automation tool, I'm a big fan of Blotato. You would just go into Blotato, schedule out some of your posts. You can do five at a time, really easy. All the links are below for you guys. But you would go, for example, like let's say, YouTube, generate post, add your media, upload file, select one of your monsters, super quick. This is definitely one of my favorite tools too for posting because it's so easy and quick. Once it uploads, and then all you gotta do is change your text, make this a short, so this is monsters, and then hit publish, and that's it. And you can schedule out posts for you so you don't have to be getting up every day or every couple hours and super, super easy to actually do. And last but not least, I wanna show you voices. So this is where you wanna create a custom voice for your monster or whatever your character you're building, and that's done in 11 labs. So you guys could go in, you can see right here we created- our Rain or shine, let nature's be- Space is vast and- Family is like a team. So these are all the custom voices that we made for our characters, and the way you do it, is what I'll do is you go create a voice and then you have right here voice design. You can do instant voice clone or professional voice clone. So we're gonna do voice design and then we give it a prompt. So here we wanna, for example, go with something like this. So create a male voice with a sleazy, overconfident street salesman energy, mid thirties to fifties. He should sound charming, but untrustworthy like he's consistently trying to sell cursed items with fake enthusiasm sounds pretty complicated but it wasn't all we did was go to chat lm back to it select a good model and say 
I have a really funky, whimsical, Tim Burton style character, and I need a really creepy voice. The character is a sloth, but I want it to be like a middle-aged man in his 30s. Give me the perfect prompt to add to 11 Labs to create the best voice. Boom. Simple. This is all off the cuff. You can plan this all out yourself, but use these tools to actually create the best. And there it is. Look at this. A slow talking, slightly raspy male voice. Actually, you know what? Let's use this. So I can just show you how powerful this is. Go in here, select that. So create that, copy, go back to voices. And we're just gonna paste that in here. And now we have that. And once this is done, you're gonna be able to put a script. So let's just take one short script from our monsters and then generate voice. And just like that, you've created your custom voice. You go in, you tweak it, you get it perfectly how you want it, whether it's a female, it's a kid, it's a monster, it's um, you know young, old, really doesn't matter. So these are the tools that you could use, and most of these have free plans. I'm seven fit of passion, stuffed in a British phone booth. Hobbies, late night egg laying, deep conversation, the rotary. Yeah, so good, you can get so creative with this. So if you are limited on a budget, for example, Abacus is 10 bucks a month. You put in 10, it's all credits based. If you use my link below, you get an extra 10. So you're starting up at $20. You could make quite a few of these just on that basic plan versus going to other tools, having to sign up for all of the different models where, oh, I can't create an image, I gotta go here. Then, oh, I can't create the video because I have to sign up for Kling or I have to sign up for HeyGen or Hedra, which is $30 a month, right? So it's all built into this one platform. That's why I really like it. I didn't even get into any of the other features, but Chat LLM is an all-in-one. They got deep, deep agent. You have a dedicated IDE that you could build with. And as I mentioned at the top, you have all of the different things that you could do with it, additional to the 30 or 25 large language models. You could code, you got Playground, PowerPoint, Deep Research, everything is in here. Give it a shot and go create your monsters. I'm gonna be posting all of these monsters for the next couple of weeks on a new channel, a YouTube channel and a TikTok. And I will report back with the results of how people like them, what they like, what they don't like, and then we will continue building this out but this was super fun. Again, it got a little weird with these characters, but I just wanted to show you what our minds is thinking about when we think about AI content and to give you the power of it. So fun ideas is if you have kids, have them draw something on a whiteboard or a sheet of paper. Hope you guys enjoyed that. My name is Marcin AI. If you guys want a amazing community, I run the No Code AI Army. We're almost at 6,000 members right now. 100% for free, you come in here, we're building, oh, actually, wait, we're four away from 6,000, 5,996 members, all for you. We come in here, we're building, creating, beginners all the way to full stack devs. We have so much stuff coming, and I have a huge surprise on August 17th. I partnered up with a bunch of creators, and we're doing something really, really great. Stay tuned for that. Come in, join, come play, and come build with us. I'm done for now. Hope you guys enjoyed that and definitely come check it out. And I'll post the link to our channels with the weird videos and hope you guys create your own and definitely share with me what you create. And I'll see you in the next video.